In a very recent study from Boston University's Center for Space Physics, the scientists discovered that there is something peculiar about the great uh, giant spot on Jupiter. Today we're going to talk about this particular discovery, and if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, press the subscribe button right now because there's so many more videos coming in the future. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So hi everyone, this is Anton, and today we're going to be actually talking about Jupiter, and this is going to be a relatively short video because I just wanted to focus on one thing. One big thing that is right here in the middle of the planet, somewhere here, and I need to find it. Right here in front of you, and this is essentially a storm that is much, much larger than Earth. As a matter of fact, it's several times the size of Earth. And it's very, very well known. It's one of the most well-known um, astronomical features out there. If you've ever seen a picture of Jupiter, you would probably recognize it right away because of this spot right here. Now, what is really interesting about it is that very recently, these scientists discovered that uh, not only is it, you know, a storm, and not only is it very big, but it also seems to be a very, very warm um, region in Jupiter's atmosphere. As a matter of fact, when they've actually taken a look at the um, infrared picture of Jupiter, which you see right now, um, they've discovered that this right here was a little bit warmer, or I guess a lot warmer, than the rest of the atmosphere. Uh, so the rest of the atmosphere of Jupiter is around 900 degrees Celsius. This is actually... This is an incorrect prediction. This is based on the models that we currently have. Because it's so far away from the sun, it should be much colder. But in reality, Jupiter is about 900 degrees Celsius, much, much hotter than Venus. So technically, this is actually the hottest planet in our solar system. But this spot right here is even hotter. This spot right here is about 1500 degrees Celsius. That's almost double. And it's actually three times hotter than Venus. And so why? What exactly is happening here? Well, for one, we know, um, what, I guess what we know about this spot is that it has some of the highest wind speeds in the in our solar system. Uh, so there's a lot of um, air motion. There's a lot of um, highly accelerated air, which basically uh, flies around uh, this particular spot really, really fast. Now, we're not exactly sure why it's happening. We're not exactly sure why this spot exists. But we know that this is obviously a very turbulent sort of environment, uh, a lot more powerful than any kind of a hurricane on our planet Earth. Now, this spot was, uh, wasn't was always here. It's, as a matter of fact, um, it, uh, I believe it actually appeared about o just over 300 years ago, but it wasn't really always here. So it seems like something created this. We're not exactly sure what. We don't really know enough about Jupiter to know what created this particular spot. But we know that it's here now, and we are trying to figure out what exactly is happening. Now, but the interesting finding is um, the analysis of this particular spot and, and the analysis of various types of hydrogen that come out of this spot and uh, the realization that maybe, just maybe, all of this um, heat and all of this energy comes from a very, very simple phenomenon that we also observe on Earth. Now, let me just go back to Earth and I'm going to show you where it actually happens on our planet. And we're actually going to go to uh, South America and right here, um, this is, I don't know if you can actually see it because there's clouds here that are kind of blocking most of this, but let's see if we can maybe reposition ourselves so that you can see it a little bit better. Anyway, so this is South America right here, and right along the west coast of South America, there's a region or a mountain range known as the Andes. Now, this region right here is known for a very interesting phenomenon known as the acoustic waves or specifically acoustic wave heating. Basically, because there's so much going on here in the atmosphere, and because these mountains are kind of blocking a lot of the winds, a lot of the uh, atmospheric um, activities, uh, what happens is the actual air, as it passes through the Andes, creates this very interesting um, motion where a lot of the um, air pressure and a lot of the air basically starts going upwards and uh, essentially uh, creates a lot of sound waves, uh, specifically thunder waves. Um, so essentially, in other words, it creates a lot of thunder. Now, this thunder, when, it, uh, when it's created, uh, releases a lot of energy. So because of these mountainous ranges uh, and because of the acoustic energy produced by the thunder, this whole region is actually warmed up. It's actually a little bit warmer than than the other regions nearby, and uh, this uh, interesting phenomenon is actually responsible for some of the really interesting climates in this particular region. So, 
it essentially is a known phenomenon to us. And the scientists studying Jupiter realize that maybe this is what's actually happening in the giant red spot on Jupiter. Except, of course, for the fact that uh, even though on Earth the actual increase in temperature is only about a few degrees, here the increase is about 600 degrees. There is so many thunders and so much acoustic energy produced by this huge storm that the temperature in the surrounding area is increased by about 600 degrees, which is ridiculously high. Uh, essentially, this whole storm region produces so much noise that, well, not only would your ears explode if you actually heard it, but it happens several times a minute, it happens along this huge, huge area, several times the size of Earth, and it is basically responsible for a humongous amount of energy that's released, and that's then uh, essentially heats up the atmosphere and causes a lot of the uh, nearby regions to warm up as well. Now, this also kind of explains, or it can kind of explain, why this gas giant is so much warmer than it should be. It is very, very far away from the sun. It should not be so warm. It should not be 900 degrees. But if this is actually how a lot of energy is produced on the gas giant, because it has so many winds, it has so much turbulence everywhere, maybe, just maybe, this is actually why it is a lot warmer than it should be, or at least its upper atmosphere is a lot warmer than it should be. And, of course, this also suggests that maybe, just maybe, the actual sounds on this planet are really, really overwhelming. Now, unfortunately, we don't really know much else about uh, this particular phenomenon or the effects, and hopefully Juno mission that has made it to Jupiter in 2016 will find, uh, find out what's going on and help us discover the actual reasons for these really interesting temperatures. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully you learned something from it, and hopefully now you know a little bit more about Jupiter and its amazing, beautiful, giant spot that's about to go into the shadow and into the nighttime on Jupiter. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this with someone who you think may like space videos. I'll see you next video, where we're going to talk about something else, math, space, science, or something else related, and you'll definitely learn something else from those videos as well. I'll see you in the next video, give you later, and as always, bye-bye.